here fighting. This is one of the fights on that preliminary round. The eight winners will go into quarterfinal round and then semifinals down to one fighter who will walk away with $50,000 and the prestige of being the best Muay Thai welterweight in the world. Francois Panaccio will be fighting in the blue trunks. David Ergo in the red trunks. There is Panaccio. Certainly will have the support of the French crowd here in Paris. Fighters tend to come into these tournaments with really a head of steam, knowing they need to impress and impress early. Scheduled now for five three-minute rounds, ready to begin this bout. Panaccio is the more experienced of the two. Former European welterweight champion in the freestyle rules division, now concentrating on Muay Thai fighting. Mike, like we've seen in a number of these other fights, these Muay Thai battlers really coming out with a quick start, unlike the Muay Thai action you see in the native Thailand, where the whole sport began. Ergo seems to be trying to adopt a traditional Muay Thai stance, hands held high, palms of the gloves outward, a little flat-footed, but he seems a little awkward with it. Like perhaps he doesn't have as much experience as he, as he really needs to have to feel comfortable with that stance. Panaccio, much more the European-style Muay Thai. Light on his feet, mobile, concentrating on leg kicks, but hands held high, ready to punch. And there he did land a punch, Panaccio, landing that right hand. Where in the Asian style of Muay Thai, you, you see very little boxing with hand technique. The European style, it, it is sometimes 50% of the fight. That leg grab has to be followed immediately by a counter. Now the fighter's clenching for knee strikes inside. Once the referee feels the action has come to a halt in that clinch, he will separate them. Sometimes you'll see the referees let them go and a great stiff kick from Panaccio. Oh, excellent uh, side kick by Panaccio. Caught air goal completely by surprise. Ergo taking plenty of punishment. Ergo does not seem to be schooled well in defense to hand techniques up top. Could be that he trains with other Muay Thai fighters who concentrate uh, strictly on kicking the way traditional Muay Thai does. Very awkward in his defense up top. So again, a front kick up to the face by Panaccio. Ergo doesn't, even, doesn't seem to be able to just even see those coming, much less pick them off. Interesting how Ergo also dropped his hands down by his side as he did at the end of that last exchange. Panaccio hurt him with that last exchange on the kick. Ergo taking quite a beating here in round one. From both the feet and the hands of Francois Panaccio, David Ergo has a lot of work to do, both recovery and figuring out how he can turn his game plan around. Ergo taking the standing eight count to the referee. Right at the end of round number one. Panaccio landing almost at will on Ergo here at the end of the round. Ergo completely defensive. His hands are held high and outwards. Doesn't seem to understand how to cover up once it becomes a, a hand fight inside. Now that kick started as a roundhouse. Panaccio pulled the knee up and turned into a side kick. Scored very well to the jaw. An excellent counter of the roundhouse kick by Panaccio. Apparently not worried about the roundhouse, just stood his ground, waited for his chance to counter. Overhand right. Hurt her goal. Panaccio not able to follow up, however. What incredible poise shown by Francois Panaccio with an attack coming his way. He stood his ground, avoided it, and threw that huge right that got David Hergo wobbling. 
Here go being checked by the doctor in between rounds. He took some shots in round one, some hard ones. Hele, he says, let's go. So he seems all right, and now ready for round two, the scheduled five-rounder. Muay Thai action from Paris. It'll be interesting to see how Ergo reacts. Sometimes a fighter who's gone through that much war and taken that much penalty in an earlier round will wake up. Other times they'll run and hide. Ergo complaining of a low kick to the groin. Looks more like the inside of the thigh to me. Oh, again, that left leg turning the roundhouse into the side kick. Ergo doesn't seem to see any shots that come straight up the middle. Awkwardly delivered roundhouse kick missed. Those kicks are almost like an axe kick where the fighter will bring his heel down onto the head or face of another fighter because those two blows did land with the bottom of the heel on Ergo's head. Ergo landing one of his few punches he's landed in this fight. Straight left. <laughs> Ergo now getting in a couple of knee strikes. They're landing on Panaccio. The referee will allow them to clinch like this as long as they're delivering knee strikes. Once the action stops, as we see here, he breaks them up. It is a very large portion of Muay Thai fighting that you will see also, particularly in Thailand. And down again goes Ergo. And you see blood on his body, and probably from a cut by his left eye. Actually, a big break there for Ergo. The referee could easily have called that a knockdown. I think you're right. Ergo almost completely defensive now. He just aborted two attempts at leg kicks. A bad sign when a fighter doesn't follow through with a planned attack. Looks confused, looks defenseless and worried. Can't seem to get the range against Panaccio. Oh, straight right, stagger, and here go. Panaccio scoring at will. He could score more, but he's looking for his best opportunities, and he's certainly finding them. Uh, he's being careful not to not to burn himself out here in round two, but the opportunities are presenting themselves so often, Panaccio has to take advantage of them. So a very productive round two for the Frenchman, Francois Panaccio. ISKA kickboxing on ES. Francois Panaccio hoping to continue on the role he started in round two. David Ergo hopes to stop him in his tracks. Plenty of action from Panaccio. Panaccio again coming right up the middle with that, that funny little half front kick, half side kick landing with the bottom of the heel. Um, and Ergo just doesn't seem to see, see things that come straight down the middle like that right hand. Now, the referee did not call that a knockdown. I can't tell you why. It looked like a clean one to me. Here, almost completely defenseless. defenseless. Ergo just absorbing punches. Doesn't seem to know how to get his hands up around his head to protect himself. Kicked too high by Ergo. And that was the one he did not call a knockdown. Certainly was a little off balance. Ergo was by throwing that roundhouse right kick, but still Panaccio landed that punch full on his face. Panaccio looks fresh in his corner, and there Ergo, wishing between rounds was five or maybe ten minutes. Instead, each round is feeling like five or ten minutes to David Ergo. He was absorbing so much punishment here at the Omnisport Palace in Paris. Well, David Ergo is a young, strong fighter, and he's going to hang in there, but he, he's being outclassed terribly right now by Panaccio. Beginning at round three, Ergo 
Lands a stiff right to the chin of Panaccio. What a surprise. Right after Ergo had absorbed a hard shot from Panaccio, he came back with a right hand of his own and put Panaccio straight down on the canvas. Will that make Panaccio a little bit gun-shy now? He has been so successful heading straight towards Ergo. But now he's got to think about another jackhammer coming his way. Again, the straight front kick up to the face. Ergo trying desperately to capitalize on that knockdown. I think they're going to check on the cut on David Ergo's eye. It's in the eyelid of the left eye. Uh, it could be a problem if blood is going to run down into the eye. Huge swelling under that eye as well. Well, it's that little mouse underneath the eye, too, that is bound to open up, but that will not flow into the eye, so they would like that go. It's that cut you see just off to the side of the left eye that could cause a problem in vision, and that's what the judges and certainly the ring doctor do not want to happen. Voilà, il peut continuer, mais si ça recommence à saigner, je crois pas qu'il y a un problème à faire. He's asking him if he can continue. I'm sure that Ergo is going to answer in the affirmative. And here is the shocking knockdown. Panaccio, appearing never to even see it coming, just walks right into that right hand. Resuming action in round three. The ring judge and ring doctor allow David Ergo to continue. But Ergo seems to have much more confidence. Ergo on the attack, but again, ran into several shots from Panaccio, who seems to have recovered somewhat from that knockdown. Oh, a big left kick. Oh, again, side kick up to the face by Panaccio. Ergo out of desperation now. On fire. Trying to get something through. Walks into another right hand from Panaccio and another. What a battle between these two welterweights, Ron. Again, though, Panaccio is so much quicker off the draw, able to get through the gloves of David Ergo. And that's where most of the damage is being done. Ergo has no head movement whatsoever, and he does not keep his hands up and block. Panaccio is just teeing off on his face. There you see a tired David Ergo. He may have used himself up in this round. Panaccio should come back up with those kicks to the face. Another one of those front kicks in the right spot could, could put Ergo down. Thirty seconds left in the round. It cannot end soon enough for David Ergo. Oh, another hard right hand by Panaccio. Standing eight count for only David the, Ergo. Only the youth and strength and training, uh, conditioning of Ergo that's keeping him on his feet right now. I think they're going to check on that cut one more time. Oh, yeah. This, of course, will give Hergo time to recover. Final seconds now of round three. And there it is. Back with more in just a moment. Unbelievable. Spectacular. Outrageous. The most intense, gut-wrenching, action-packed rodeo series of all time just got better. Now, get all three of the hottest new rodeo... David Ergo is still in this fight. You see the cut just off the edge of that left eye. Ergo's face showing the result of these right hands by Panaccio. Swelling under the eye, cut above the eye, or the left eye of Ergo. This is the flurry that Ergo displayed early in that round three. 
But Fenaccio catches the majority of it on the glove. That is something he does very well. Ergo does not do well. He's absorbed most blows from Fenaccio flush on his face. Well, that blow sent Ergo flying, and that's where the referee stopped it for a standing eight count. These uh, half front, half side kicks to the face by Fenaccio have done a tremendous amount of damage. If he were to come back with those in this round and concentrate on landing three or four, or four of those up to the face of, of uh, Hergo, he may be able to end this fight. I'm surprised they have not ended the fight already. They are so devastating and they're landing directly on the mark. Round number four, scheduled for five. A little tape now put on that cut to the left eye of David Ergo in the red trunk. Francois Panaccio in the blue. Vaughn McCarran along with Mike Sawyer bringing you action from the Omnisport Palace in Paris. Again, the foot to the face by Panaccio. Ergo trying his best, but Panaccio clearly in control. The combinations top to bottom for Francois Panaccio. Landing. The feet, the hands. Panaccio well ahead in this fight. Sure to win by decision at this point if he doesn't get careless. Even the knee strikes effective from Panaccio. Referee stopping the fight once again to check the cut on David Ergo's eye. I really haven't seen that it's been much of a problem. The flood, the blood has not been flowing a lot that we've noticed, Mike. No, I don't think it's affected him at all. And frankly, things could not get much worse for David Hergo. He's absorbing nearly every onslaught by Panaccio. Well, he says he's fine, but the referee is not going to let it go on. And so Francois Panaccio will win by TKO over David Ergo. And it was just a matter of when, not if, Mike Sawyer. I think it's a wise decision by the referee. Uh, Ergo clearly outclassed absorbing far too much punishment, only on his feet because of his youth and, and training. Just no defense whatsoever. Almost appears not even to see the punches coming. His left eye is swollen, but it's not swollen shut. He should have seen those coming. Things weren't going to get any better for Ergo. The referee decided to stop it and, and uh, eliminate any chance of injury, permanent injury to David Ergo. Par arrêt du médecin, la quatrième reprise et premier qualifié de ce tournoi, François Pellacchio. So the Frenchman pleases this French crowd with a TKO victory in the fourth over Switzerland's David Ergo. Okay, the last round, more of the same, Panaccio landing virtually everything. Only when Ergo would just out of blind luck have his arms up in front of his face would he not get punched. Had no offense to speak of. One of the, the few real mismatches we've seen in this tournament so far. Um, Ergo's style, just no match for that.